helps us to settle down a bit because uh, some big kangaroos are running around and we are. Mate, uh, Beachy, what, what time is it now in the quarter? Uh, it's 19 and a half minutes. So we'll keep it, keep a track of when they when the play gets underway again so I have an idea of how many minutes we'll be lost here. Ah, <laughs> the score stands at Wednesday 12 11 83. 12 I'm going running along with the scoreboard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm always one behind. If you I'm need the scoreboard, let them know yeah. that they're missing a behind. Uh, if there's anyone near the scoreboard, they might just mention that Wednesday is 12 12 84. And uh, Sunday Kangaroos 9 14 62. Alright, I'll live. 68. Oh, no, we're actually wrong. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I would like proof of that. Thank you. Well, right. so, no, the scoreboard's correct. Well done. We're so the 4 2. Runs in 12, 11, 83. I'm, I feel comfortable now. Who have I given the behind 12, to 12, then? 11, 83. <laughs> and uh, Sunday Kangaroos 9, 14, 68. So it's 15 points the difference. 15 here. points the difference. Ball up here. 15 metres out from goal. And we'll see another ball up. How, how long, Mitch? How many minutes did we lose? Uh, I think about a minute and a half. So nothing there in the context of the game. So it's about 21 minutes gone? Uh, close to it. See a ball up here, 15 minutes. 15 points to margin here. Green just throws it on the boot. And oh, Doug Mook. He needs to see it going. He's 60 metres out from goal for the Sunbury Kangaroos. who will kick him to the left. It's 83 to 68. Play goes up. Mitchell brings it to ground. But who was there for uh, for Sunbury? It was no one. It was Paul. Like he threw the ball out of the boot. A country mile, which equates to X amount of metres. Ball is out towards the boundary line. And McNaughton sees it out of bounds for a throw in just right off centre on the outer side. 83 to 68. Our TV guy stitches up with that one. So thanks, mate. Love his work. We can't figure out who we've given the extra behind to. Uh, well, we're a bit behind the play here on this one. <laughs> 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 Someone will lose your license. <laughs> exactly. As uh, Lee Fishenden wins a free kick on centre wing out of side for a ruck infringement. They throw the ball up towards left half forward. Ball hits the ground. Mark McInerney has his head taken off. It's bobbling around there somewhere. It needs to be reattached. <laughs> it is. In fact, it's Dave Henderson, so I'm wrong player. Mark Anyway, <laughs> it's a long day, Chris. <laughs> it's 83 to 68. About 22 minutes gone here in this final term. The red backs. This time's run out for us and we can lose. When was the last time since their last goal each? He's fishing them with a get another mark. Uh, it's been close to five minutes since their last. Well, they might be in with a chance here as Cuff wins a free kick and a 50 metre penalty. Ty's going down. Jamie's got to stitch up the guy that got him. Lay the law down as your da as dad. But Ty is down with his left shoulder. He's looking mm. enormous. I think he landed at the bottom of the pile for that one. Oh. Uh, Jamie Cuff will have a chance. Is he kick the goal today, Jess? Where are we, Jamie Cuff? <laughs> Sorry, I've lost my place. No, he's kicked it behind. Well, he's about 25 metres out, or maybe a little bit closer, left forward pocket. Almost dead in front, this is to bring the margin back to nine points. Goal! Game on! It is on here at the Lancefield Reserve. Don't go home, don't change the dial. We have got an epic finale here for the great game of footy that we've got. And Ty is in enormous trouble. We wouldn't be surprised, unfortunately, for the youngster. His left shoulder may have bobbed out. The one that he has strapped. We hope it's just a little stinger. We hope it's just something minor here. It's a game on here, though. Here on Holland's FM. It's 83 to 74. And if the Roos get a goal here, which they haven't got that much time to go, deja vu from what we saw last year. The setup very important here for somebody. Fishington wins it down. Murphy almost went with it. Went without it. Win it. Won it back again. That went back with a head. I've got it. I've got it. Left foot kick up towards half forward. Straight front position. Irwin with the spoil. Matty Walsh there at Grand Little. Handball's over the top. Couldn't quite bring in Hattie. This is a heart stopping game of football here. Ball about 40 metres out from goal. Free kick somebody. Oh. And the Lindsay players are falling at the moment. A couple of them. They are. And they're not too surprising. Not surprising. They've had to play each for as round. Well. This gets up. There's only a three-point margin in this game. Some of the Kangaroos had the week's first last week. They had. Right, oh. Hattie. He 
Yeah, he'll have a shot at goal. He's almost dead, in, dead set in front, right side for a right footer for the Angaloo zone, 35 metres out from goal. It's 74 to 83. It's a six point! Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, what a match this is turning out to be. This is unbelievable. We're coming down to a three point margin. Ah, uh, gosh. Veach, that was Ryan. How do you kick that goal? Veach, when you got a second, mate, what was the biggest margin of this quarter? The biggest margin of this quarter was 25 points, and that was the six minute mark. So the Roos have battled back. This is deja vu of 2011. I suppose you well, but I just thought the time was against them. How long, Rich? Uh, just past 25 minutes. Ooh, so it was about a minute now. Due to the stretcher, Joe Plu takes a mark across uh, defensive 50. Uh, he's got to keep it down the corridor. He's just got to go long and hope the players are anticipating uh, well. Jamie yes. Carson! He's just got to go. Jamie knows what's got to be done. Up to half forward. Rommel! No! Oh. Ball hit the ground. 45 metres out from goal. He's wrapped up. Holding the ball! Oh, what? That's a gutsy call, that is, I can tell you right now. No <laughs> play. Very unhappy Mark Patterson in front of us right now. Can't believe oh. Chris Meacham. And he's the game of Chris. He will have a shot goal. 40 metres out. Chris Meacham, wrong side for right footer. He'll have a shot. It's a goal! Oh, there's a Oh, no. This is the greatest grand final we've seen in the RDFL history. Unbelievable. <laughs> there is going to be a very, very... It's a good spot. Let's be realistic here. It's a... It's now Pies are running off. Now Pies are running off. Both guys get it. Yeah, and you think about the decision... The same position. There was a decision that could have gone 50-50. It could have gone either way. And uh, oh. it was disappointing. And this is uh, what happened on the, what could be claimed as a controversial free kick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, for a change, I'm actually lost for words. It's, uh, it is, it's, no, that is a change, Ken. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, for uh, Jeanette Sharp, Lee Fishenden's mum yeah. over there in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. There's more going on, guys. Yeah. They're getting around, they're trying to get all the umpires off. This is unbelievable scenes here at the... Lansfield Reserve, Meacham has kicked the goal after the siren, after a contentious free kick given against the umpire, well, that uh, wasn't favoured. And uh, Chris Meacham of his last uh, senior game, last game? Last yes. Game. Last game. And he's Ooh. kicked the winning goal uh, for the friendship. Oh, uh, as I start no, to sorry, say, Jeanette.